already pretty excited right now. Yeah, yeah. Yep. If you're in search for these fountain of youth, you don't have to search any further. Yeah, it's inside you. Yeah, and you can take control of your own aging process. Imagine that. Joining us today is our guest, Dr. Joseph Chang. He is the author of The Aging Myth. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Chang. What is the aging myth that we're talking about, first of all? Well, Susie, you know, everyone, our moms used to tell us, you know, there's nothing you can do about aging. You're going to get old, and eventually, one day, you're going to die. Mm -hmm. But I think the science over the last few years is beginning to tell us that actually there's something we can do about the aging process. And it's actually this fountain of youth that we've always been talking about. We've been looking at the wrong place. <laughs> it, actually, the fountain of youth is within us. What? Where? It's actually, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're like, searching right, right now. Right. Right. Inside yes. us. <laughs> yes, it's actually located mm. at a genetic level. Mm. You know, since 2003, the human genome, this is actually how we are made and how we're going to function as a human being. You know, we all know about these genes now. So when we start to investigate how these genes influence bodily function, we actually can find genes that are directly related to the aging process, wow. and that's where the fountain of youth is. You know, when we talk about the fountain of youth, you know, a lot of people spend hundreds of dollars sure. on creams and products and cosmetics, but sure. how important is lifestyle in all of this? Absolutely important and vital, I think. You know, it's difficult to find somebody who's, who's been chronically ill and actually look good, no mm. matter how, how much cosmetics you put on sure. the body on the outside. So the inside actually influences how you look and how the skin functions. It's great that all of us can use skincare products, but fundamentally, we've got to look inside for how the aging process, even on skin, how we can influence that. Wow. We so talk about, lifestyle is critical. We talk about exercise all the time. How does exercise play into all this? Exercise is important because what it does is actually when you exercise, the genes in the muscle, they get the signal from the exercise and say, hey, I got to stay young or else this muscle is not going to function in a youthful state. Wow. And that is why that we need to have regular exercise because it also affects the so-called genetic fountain of youth. So basically keeping your muscles maybe from atrophying or is that what you're saying? Absolutely. Mm. Because, you know, as we get older and if we don't exercise and sure, when you're a 50 year old, you're not going to behave like a 25 year old. Right. But that doesn't mean that our muscle has to stay at a 50 year old stage. Mm. We can keep it young and we can keep it healthy. And, and foods are essential. What, what you put in your body essentially may be what you are. Yes, we heard the old <laughs> adage, isn't it? You are what you eat. Yes. And yes. clearly, I think it's important nu nutrition, how you eat, what you eat, and how you sort of nourish your body. Not to overfeed yourself, but to overnourish that body. That's the with key. With what? Nourish it with what? Give, with, give some uh, tips. Nutrients, uh, vitamins, mm. uh, all the fiber, all the trace minerals. We are not talking about macronutrients. We are really talking about a class of nutrients that we, as scientists, we class them as micronutrients. And these would be the vitamins and the minerals. These are absolutely key. To, to be able to stay young and, and behave youthfully. Dr. Chang, all of us are so stressed out, you know? <laughs> and if, if anything gives me gray yeah. hairs, I'm sure it's because yeah. of stress. Yep. That's what we always Not say. Not that we have gray hair. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we don't. Yes. Look at this no. <laughs> But stress management is also important. It is. And, and I think th there's a need for all the viewers and all to appreciate that a little bit of stress mm -hmm. is good. It, the really bad guy is chronic stress. That's the key. You do not want to get into a state where you are always constantly under stress. Once in a while, our body is built to be able to withhold, uh, be able to function under a stressful condition, or else we would not exist as a human sure. species. Well, right? you talk about then yeah. stress levels, but how do you yeah. keep the stress down? I mean, I, I, you talk about bonding and reading. <laughs> yes. So tell us a little bit about what we can do to keep our stress down. I think sleep is important. That's something that most of us in our modern lifestyle, we don't get enough of that. We tend to ignore it because we're so busy. So that's an important thing to remember, to get sufficient sleep. Um, I think in Southern California, it's such a wonderful co uh, location that you can actually go out and sit on the beach and look out into the ocean. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a really a good stress relieving exercise that all of us can do. Yeah, it might be something little, but it makes a big impact, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Now, in your book, you talk about all kinds of things, different tips, of course, like we just yes. talked about. But what is the big secret here? I mean, you know, we've heard, you know, exercise regularly, you know, eat the right foods. You know, what is the big secret here? I mean, does that mean automatically we're going to, you know, stay young and have the fountain of youth within us? 
Uh, yes, I think the, the fundamental, the reason why I titled the book The Aging Myth is based, based on the fact or based on this misconception that aging is inevitable. Mm. Actually, it's not now. While we are 12 months from now, we're going to get a year older. Our body doesn't need to get 12 months older. That's the key. That's the myth that if we do the right things, we can actually influence and reset those genes that are directly responsible for the aging process. Wow. And you can do that for a variety of ways. And we have talked about some of them you can do. Mm -hmm. uh, we are developing new and novel types of uh, anti-aging products that can help you to influence these genes. Mm. So this is the next frontier we're going. Yes. And, well, we love that frontier. Yes. We will say that. <laughs> and congratulations yes. on your New York Times bestseller yes. number, number two. two. That's oh amazing. Yes. And once again, the book is The Aging Myth. It's available in bookstores and online right now. And for more information and tips about staying younger longer, just log on to kcal9.com and click on Scene on TV. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much, Doctor, for Thank being you, with Susan. us. Thank, Thank you, Lisa. you so much for sharing all those wonderful tips. Yeah. 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 We feel younger already. Exactly. We're getting younger. <laughs> Thank you. All right.